Welcome back to C Sharp for Beginner series. This is the lesson number two, my first C Sharp application. I hope you have already reviewed my tutorial one, the first tutorial in this series. Have the C Sharp 2010 expressed, installed, and running. And uh, we will begin from there. So start C Sharp. 2010 Express and uh, it takes a few seconds to get it started it's a huge application and when the first screen comes up it'll look something like this what you want to do is to click on the new project if you have already been playing with it and have created some projects those projects will show up under here under the recent projects if you have installed it and haven't done anything with it, uh, this is most likely what the screen is going to look like. So click on New Project. On the next screen, it will give you several options. Do you want to create a Windows Forms application? We will do it later. Or WPF application, we will talk about that one in one of the later lessons. Console application or one of these other things. What we want to do first is to create a console application. That is the easiest way to get started with the C Sharp. So select or click on console application. On the next screen, a code template would be given to you. It will start with something like class program it will have the main method and within the main method add these two lines console.writeLine hello world and the next line says console.readLine so when we run this application it will display hello world and the reason we add the console.readLine is that after displaying hello world in a new window in a DOS window it will wait for you to press the enter key Otherwise, if you forget to put the console.readLine statement, it will display hello world, but the window would immediately disappear. If you can't read the code on the screen, the code is given on the next slide, so you should be able to read it clearly. And once you have it typed in, click on the start button. This is the start button. And once you do that, you will it will run the application that you have just created. Okay, so when you click on the start button, it will open up a DOS prompt and it will display hello world. Press the enter key and uh, it will end the application and it will go back to the Visual Studio window. Here are the two lines that I added, console.writeLine hello world and console.readLine for pausing the window so that the window doesn't close. I suggest you, you know, try out these two statements yourself and make sure you are able to run this application. For my remaining six or seven tutorials, for most of them, I am going to be using the console application, which means you start a new application, a new console application, the template would be given to you, like the class program, etc., and you will be adding the code as we go along in this uh, C Sharp tutorials. If you wanted to see the whole application, if you weren't able to read my slides, that's this is what it looks like. It has uh, three using statements. The using statement simply mean import certain classes or make certain classes available. Uh, we won't get into those details right now. Then there is a namespace called console application that was again set up for you uh, as a part of the template. Uh, don't worry about those details right now the class program. It's the program class that we are starting which has a main method and it's the main method that we are programming. So this is pretty much what the code that we created earlier that looked like. Uh, in fact we only wrote two lines most of it was already you know given to us. We are ready to develop a Windows application now. Start Visual C Sharp 2010 Express again as you did before when this window comes up, click on New Project. As before, 
you will see a list of types of application that you can develop uh, you need to pick one we picked console application earlier we are going to click on the Windows Forms application next click at the OK button which should bring up the template for a Windows application and this is what the template would look like it will actually give you a window or a form around which you can start building your application what you want to do next is to click on this button object click on the button object the button object gets selected and then bring the mouse pointer over the form and draw the button on the form this is what the button would look like once the button is selected go to the properties window after selecting the button go to the properties window and then there is a property called text property which says something like text one change that property to say hello like this press the enter key the button would appear as shown in my form now so now we built the user interface we have the button which says hello now we need to program that one to program it double click on that button when you double click on the button it is going to bring up the code window the code template and this is what the code template is going to look like it will say something like private void button one underscore click this is the click event for the button object what you want to do is to add one statement message box dot show hello world this is what the statement looks like message box dot show hello world this is the only statement you need to add remember the template is already given to you once done click on the start button it'll start that application it'll bring up the form with that button click on say hello click on that button and it'll display hello world as uh, you would expect and uh, that is done by using the message box dot show statement click on the OK button to close the dialog box and uh, continue on with uh, your application so we were able to build a console application and a Windows application for the next six tutorials I will be mostly focusing on the console applications we want to mainly focus on the programming constructs understand the variables the data types the if statements the loops the arrays etc and beyond that I may have some tutorials which also show you how to build Windows applications so what's next we'll talk about variables and data types and the assignment statements so that's coming up in the next tutorial thank you